November 1st, the first week of Advent, the Catholic Church will be debuting its new translation of the Roman Missal. And I know that many of you have been trying to figure out how it will be the case. It will be translated into ASL. I noticed that uh, many different committees have been set up to try to examine and analyze how to best express this in a in sign language. There's great things that are happening right now in this regard. Here in Boston, we set up a little committee with Father Jeremy, and Jeremy St. Martin, and Father Michael Depsick, and my Michael Depsick, and Sister Kathy, Kathy, Mimi and Martina Nelson. Uh, we get together to study and discuss um, good ways to sign everything in the sacramentaries, line by line, and we've had a great, great experience so far. This will help us be really ready, much much more ready for our trying for our the debut of the new translation. Uh, what we've done still needs a lot of improvement, and we're looking for feedback. We're trying to share what we've done with our committee, and hoping to sh to share the the benefits of other committees' work, sharing these kinds of this kind of work. We'll, result in a, a better experience. Now we've done some of the translating for the reading, a lot of the translation for Eucharistic prayer number two. Uh, we haven't done the Creed or the Our Father. Uh, we will try to do that. We're going to find some more time to develop those kinds of uh, We look forward to working with all of you and to listening to your feedback. May God bless you. My name is Father Sean. My last name is Carrie. Father Sean is my name, son. until tomorrow. Um, I won't arrive in my office until about 1 o'clock. So that's why I couldn't call you on the video phone. Um, sorry about that. Um, so I don't know if you want to try to reach me on my video phone. Maybe tomorrow afternoon or Thursday. Okay. All right.
Okay. Hello, my name is Monsignor Glenn Nelson. That's my name, sign, Monsignor Nelson. My name is Father Jeremy St. Martin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins that we may prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. 
in my thoughts, in my words, what I have done, and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, mm, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever a virgin, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. The Lord be with you. And also with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Okay. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's right and just. Holy 
holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Benedict our Pope and Sean our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him to you, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit is all honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say,
deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord be with you and also with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.